as we wrap up our devotions this week, um, I want to share um, probably one of the things that I think is most significant and something that actually um, I didn't get to talk about at Easter, but is absolutely critical to making a long-term stable connection, staying connected to Jesus' commitment. Um, it's what Jesus says at the very end of chapter 24 of the Gospel of Luke. And then it's recounted in the book of Acts. It's almost where Luke leaves off in the gospel he picks up in the book of Acts. So in the gospel, he tells us, Jesus says to the disciples, I'm going to send my Holy Spirit to be with you. In the book of Acts, that very same conversation picks up, again, Jesus being revealed in the book of Acts, launching off chapter 1, about verse 3. Um, it says, after his suffering... He showed himself to these men and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, um, he gave them this command. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you've heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. There it is, the promise of the Spirit. And then they wait, and in chapter 2 of Acts, the Holy Spirit comes. And, and, and what we know about the Holy Spirit is that at the moment we accept Christ and we embrace a relationship with Him, we get the Spirit. The Spirit of Christ is now the Spirit that lives inside of us. You can cross-reference this to uh, John chapter 14, about verse 15, uh, where Jesus says, If you love me, you'll obey what I command. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor, the Spirit, to be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. Now listen to this. But you know him and have seen him, um, for he will be with you. Uh, what he's saying to the disciples is that, I have been with you, and now the Spirit's going to be in you. Then he goes on to say, that just as the Father is in me, and I am in him, and I am in you. He's saying that, that we're going to be one together. The Spirit presence is going to be on you and in you. That is the, the, the seal. Literally, the book of Ephesians says that we have been sealed by the Spirit. You see, whenever God comes into us, He's not coming in as a transient presence. In other words, he's not here one day and gone the next. When Jesus sends his spirit to live inside of us, he's with us forevermore. When Jesus says, never will I leave you or forsake you, he's saying, my spirit will never leave you or forsake you. When he announced to, to Moses and to Joshua uh, that I will never leave you uh, or forsake you, He's saying, my spirit will be with you all the way, all the way to the end. God's promises are solid and reliable, and they're for us to recognize his presence in our time of suffering, our struggles, whatever difficult road we're on. It's his spirit inside of us that wants to empower us to, to verbalize our relationship with him, to confess Jesus as Lord. It's the Spirit of God that wants to, to be our counselor as we combine the Spirit of God with the Word of God to intimately continue a relationship with the Son of God. It's the Spirit of God in the hearts of believers of God that fellowship together and socialize and challenge one another in our faith and our experience to stimulate each other to love and good deeds. This week, I hope that you have been connecting more than ever but most of all, I hope that your connection stays firm and strong because you're learning to apply these things to your daily life. Thank you so much for being with us this week, for making a choice to, to share this, watch this. I hope that you will share it with someone else. Mostly, I hope that your love and relationship with Jesus will go stronger than ever And this the, the week after our celebration of the resurrected Christ. I look forward to seeing you this weekend as we continue our journey through the Gospel of Luke. It's God's journey for me, and it's God's journey for you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.